Welcome to Someone Awesome Games, I'm Rob. We're playing Majora's Mask, and we're going to do one of the biggest side quests this game has. We're gonna go, f go find Cafe, I've got, I'm gonna call him Cafe. Or it could be Cafe, Cafe. Let's go with Cafe. We're gonna find Cafe. So first thing we wanna do, start afresh. Dawn of the first day. We're gonna go head to the Mayor's residence, because uh, we need to get the Cafe mask. As you can see, I already have it. But I'm going to show you where it is because you need to know if you don't know. Here's the mayor's residence. We can only go in there once it's opening hours, which is about 10 o'clock. So once it's 10 o'clock, head on in there and uh, we'll go talk to Cafe's mum. Who's missing him terribly? So we'll go in this right door here. We'll go chat to her. She won't say what she would say if you haven't been here. Uh, so right now she'll say, oh, you're looking for the mayor's office. Uh, but if I put on the mask, she'll say, oh, you're searching for Cafe. I sent you out to find him. But the first time you come here, she'll say, oh, my son's missing. Here's a mask that will help you go out and find him so you know what he looks like and you can talk to people. She'll give you this mask. There you go, you got the mask, congratulations. Let's go for a little jog. We're gonna go to the Stockpot Inn. Uh, if you don't know what that is, just follow along and we'll run there together because I want you guys to know what you're doing. I don't wanna just say, go to the Stockpot Inn and then you have to go, I don't know what that is, man. This is a terrible guy, thumbs down. Let's go there, we'll run there. I have the rabbit ears because it makes me run a lot faster. Here's a sign. The Stockpot Inn. So we're going to go in here. And uh, we're going to wait a few hours. Till about uh, 2 o'clock-ish, I think. Let's have a look. Let's stand here. We're going to wait. We're going to watch the door. And then uh, in will come our little friend. About 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock-ish. Here he comes. The postman is here to deliver a letter. Now this isn't a requirement for the quest. This is... We're just going to fill out the entire story that's going on here. And uh, so you can see all the events that happen. So in he comes. And what's his dealio? Ah, uh, 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 um, um, what is this? Well, let's find out together, lady. I have delivered this to you. Ah, wait. This letter, where, where, where did you? From the post box. That, that's not what I mean. From the post box, where? From the post box somewhere. That's not what I mean. And so forth. So she just got a letter. Terrible. Like, who doesn't like getting letters? She was not happy about that. Uh, so the postman, he'll jog off. Now we want to wait until after he leaves. Once he goes out, we're going to have a little chat to our new best friend here. Hello, lady. How you doing? Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Um, did you have a reservation? Yes, we did. You do have a reservation, that's good. Mr. Rob, because that's my name, is it? One moment please, Mr. Rob, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. Your room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here's your key. Awesome, we got the key. So that will come in handy much later, just for like story reasons. You don't need it, uh, but if you talk to her before that postman leaves early in the day, you won't get it. You'll screw it up, you can't get it. Now we're going to check on the cafe's mask and chat to her. You're also looking for Cafe. I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. Alrighty, cool. So now we've started our little cafe hunt. Uh, we've got a key which will help us flesh out the story a little bit. In comes this guy. I'm just showing you so you feel bad now. Uh, in comes this like... Lonely, gentle Goron, clearly a traveler, well dressed, I mean he's got a bow tie, that's classy Goron, and a hat. Uh, so he's been traveling around, and he's got a chat to the lady at the desk. I mean she, her name's Andrew, and we say it's Andrew, it's like A-N-J-U. Andrew, Angie, this city is so busy it's hard to find one's way. And then she'll, he'll chat to her, he'll say, I'm terribly sorry there are no vacancies today, we're book solid with reservations. He'll flip out, I made a reservation! The name is Rob Goro. See, that's his problem there. He always says Goro at the end. Mmm. Mr. Rob Goro. I don't have a reservation under that name. Well, that's because I took it. There's one close to that, but... You say Goro, so... What? Really, Goro? Well, it's nice weather, so I'll just sleep outside, Goro. I'm terribly sorry. We should feel terrible about that. We made this poor Goro sleep outside. Uh, but he's a Goro. He's a tough dude. No one's gonna mug him. Farewell, my Goron friend. We're gonna head to the kitchen and wait like seven hours. Actually, it's more like eight hours because she says meet her at 11.30. We shouldn't get there till midnight. So we're gonna stand here. 
Once it gets to about midnight and she stops walking, we can chat to her. Speak. I am sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him, Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person. But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please. Here is my letter. Please put this in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Andrew is waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I, I can't go. Can I ask you this of you? Yes. Thank you very much. We get a letter. Ta-da. You were given a letter to Cafe. Quick, deliver it for her. Take it. So we're going to deliver this before 9 a.m. in the morning on the second day. So we're going to do that right now. Why would we not? Please mail it immediately in the morning. Immediately or in the morning. Make up your mind, lady. Uh, so let's go for a run. We'll go all the way to a post box. There's multiple post boxes around. Uh, but we'll go to the closest one. It's just outside. And then we'll continue our run to where we will meet Cafe. Because if you've been paying attention, like, uh, on the very first day, you can actually see him deliver his mail in the morning. We skip that. Here's our poor Goron friend sleeping outside. Lucky this town seems pretty safe. I say safe, but there's actually a mugger who'll come into the story a bit later on. Uh, he He's currently mugging an old lady. You don't want to help her. We're going to mail our letter here. So, you'll know the bomb shop lady gets mugged. At least you should. If you help her, you stuff this whole thing up. So do not help her. Do exactly what you're seeing here. If I do, I do nothing extra. Don't do, go outside of this. Just stay with this. Follow me now. Don't do anything else that I don't do. Because you don't want to stuff this up. Because this is a very long quest. So I'm going to run to the laundry pool. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Looking good, chaps. Looking good. Head to the laundry pool. We're going to wait till 3 p.m. on the second day. Over 12 hours. A long time away. So skip ahead. Do whatever you can. See this bell here? The postman will ring that. There's Cafe. That's his little, uh, he works at the laundry. So he will come out when the postman comes and then we'll sneak on in. So it's now dawn of the second day. We've got 13 hours left or something. No, 7 hours. I think it's 7 hours. Uh, the postman will come at 3 p.m. And there's Cafe. He's gonna go get his mail. So we're gonna sneak on into his little house here. Because he doesn't lock his door, because he doesn't want to get he doesn't want to get locked out now, does he? Off he goes, gets his mail from the postman. And we're gonna go in here. The rabbit ears makes this game so much quicker. So pretty much always have that as one of your items. And we'll go in here, we'll go hide. We don't have to hide. I'm gonna go stand on this table here. Where he writes his letters. Clearly he writes his letters there. With a giant scalpel pen. Alright, he'll come running in. We'll jump ahead a little bit. He won't take too long. He's pretty quick. There he is. Just took an hour. So we'll go chat to him. He doesn't care that we're just standing on his table. He's pretty chilled. Hey man, green hat, green clothes? And you wrote about you in a letter. It seems you are looking for cafe. Can you keep a secret? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Big plot twist here. And you trusted you? I shall also trust you. I am Cafe. Bum bum bum. Then Link screams, no, that's impossible. Uh, the Cafe we're looking for is an adult. When I look at you, I see a child. I was turned into this by a strange imp wearing a mask. Guess who that was? Can you guess? But I'm not hiding because I look this way. When I was turned into this, I went to see the great fairy in the, sh in the shrine near the uh, blah blah blah. But on the way, I'm sorry I started that. I ruined this. I ruined this whole thing. His wedding mask was taken by a prancing man with a grinning face. That's the jerk who mugs the bomb lady. He also mugged this kid. Well, you're just careless. You look pathetic. He didn't say that, but he does look pathetic. Before my wedding ceremony, I was quite happy. I was tired because of what I had been turned into. So this guy picks on children and old ladies. What a scumbag. Oh my, I pity you. I love our fairies. Got a bit of sass in it. I know Andrew is worried, but I can't go out yet. I made a promise to her that I would bring the wedding mask and greet her. Alrighty, we gotta get that mask back. This pendant, give it to Andrew. You got it, punk. You accepted the pendant of memories. 
Though you may not understand these grown-up matters, you should probably take the pedant to a Jew anyway. We'll do it, man. Keep what we just talked about a secret from everyone. Bum bum bum, Easter egg. Usual Zelda quote thing. Chuck on your pendant into your uh, little uh, tools, items, whatever you call it. C stick, C buttons. We'll roll on out of here. So we'll go deliver this to a Jew. Sometimes she hangs out here, sitting in the rain with her umbrella. But she shouldn't be here yet. She'll be back at the Stockpot Inn. I want to go give her the pendant. And that will make her stay. Because if we don't give it to her, she thinks Cafe's gone and run off with uh, a farmer friend of hers. You know, the ladies from the, uh, the ranch. She thinks he's a uh, two time in her. So if we give her this, it'll convince her to stay and wait for him. And uh, trust him, believe him. So here she is. Hey, how you doing, lady? Good to see you again. Oh, did you meet him? And then we give her this. We don't say anything. We just give it to her. Like, yes. Ah! It's from Cafe. That the thank you very much. Cool. So, I have decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. So, in essentially, she's saying she's going to die. She's going to sit in her room and die. If we head back to Cafe, get a little bit more of the story going on. Things that get stolen end up at the curiosity shop. I'm waiting for him to come. Stand on that crate and peek into that hole. So he's waiting for the uh, the guy who stole the mask to come and sell it to the curiosity shop. Because it's like a pawn shop. So he's got a little peephole here where he will see the dude come tonight, sell it, and then he's going to follow him back to his hideout. And that's where we'll re-meet Cafe. So Cafe's going to disappear now. We're not going to see him again. Farewell, Cafe. The guy will definitely appear. I'll be waiting when it happens. So, if we jump ahead a little bit and uh, go to the Curiosity Shop uh, after we go and back to the Stockpot Inn, I apologize, I jumped ahead a little bit too much. 9 p.m. If you come here at 9 p.m., go to your room. You can do this if you have the key. If you don't have the key, you can't do this. Go to your room that you have. Look through this hole. There's a little hole here. And then we'll get a little bit of story going on with uh, the whole cafe situation. Okay, Andrew, we're leaving in the evening for the ranch. That's her mum. Oh, no, that's his mum, I mean. Kremia will take us in. She's your best friend, right? Ooh, see, now she doesn't trust Kremia. I wonder if Cafe is really at Kremia's place. Hmm, Cafe and Kremia, eh? If Cafe is there, your mother will give him a smack. Yeah, she will. Right out of her wheelchair. Besides, think about Kremia. Kremia, let's call her Kremia. She needs strength from her partner and business support from Madame Aroma. If Cafe really has run off with Kremia, she'll get both. Please don't be sad. How happy could you possibly be? Marrying a man who runs off when he's about to be married? It would just it would make your life unhappy, just like your mother's. But in the letter it said he definitely would come back. Come back to what? Won't this town be crushed beneath the moon the morning after tomorrow? Forget about that letter. For now, just try to survive. Everything else will follow. Solid advice right there. Yes, mother, thank you. A little bit of story there. So we know the whole dealio with Cafe and her and uh, Creamia. Now we're going to go to the curiosity shop, which I uh, jumped ahead to before. Uh, so we go here. After midnight, about 12.30, in comes the jerk, the bomber-stealing man. Because he stole the bomb bag off of the bomb shop lady. So now he's coming to sell it. And Cafe will spot him through his little peephole. Now, if you save the bomb lady, this won't happen and the quest is bummed out. And now they have their little haggle. Don't be such a rupee pincher, you miser. 200. Well, why don't I just offer you even less? And you know, this is the bomb shops. How about if I tell them all about you? All right, fine, I'll take it. But you're guilty too. Don't be a fool! A seller of stolen goods is just a middleman who's trying to provide his customers with good product. Look, I know nothing. If it comes to me, I buy it. I'm a charitable organization that helps people in need. I, I understand. Then the total is... It's 50 now. So there you go. Ooh, man. He's a good haggler. What? You said 100. Oh, so you don't want me to take it off your hands. Of course he does, because it's stolen. Whoa, whoa, wait. It's a deal. It's a deal. Cool beans. Let's, let's chat to this jerk. 
This curiosity shop guy's taking advantage of me. I just want my fair share. Dawn of the final day. It is the next day. Cafe has spotted the guy, run off. So if we go back to his little hideout, we'll meet the curiosity shop guy. Now Cafe, he says he wants you to take this to his mother. He'll give you a letter. You'll give an express mail to mama. You can take this to his mum at the at the uh, the milk bar, or you can take it to the postman and he'll deliver it and you'll get two masks. So you have to do this again if you want the other mask. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because you won't be able to finish this quest if you do that. Uh, the guy's a regular greedy thief named Sakon. I think he's from Inca Village. So we're going to do the Song of Soaring and teleport up to the canyon. And like I said, with that mail, you can take it to his mum in the milk bar if you have the milk bar mask to get in, or you can take it to the postman and uh, you'll get one mask each, depending which option you choose. So you have to do this again if you want. Uh, so we're teleporting to the Inca Canyon, and uh, we're gonna finish this side quest and get the couple's mask. So this one actually you can actually get three masks, but we're focusing on the uh, the main goal here of reuniting the two lovers. So here we are, Inca Canyon. We're a little early. We don't want to be this early, so we're gonna sing this song, blah blah blah, right right a a down down, and it will double time and send us to the night of the final day. And we want yes. So, what is happening now? Cafe is waiting at the dude's hideout. If you go there early, you can wait with him. But if the guy spots you, if the thief spots you, he will run away. The only way not to get spotted by him is to wear the stone mask, I think it is. Uh, the mask that makes you pretty much like, no one notices you when you wear it. Or you can do what I'm doing right now. Teleport there. Play that song. Night of the, sec like, night of the final day. And uh, we'll go there. So he'll already be heading there. So we'll actually be behind him. And he won't spot us. Unless we get too close. You don't want to get too close. Because if he spots you, he runs away. Quest failed. Shazam. Unfortunate. So if you don't have that mask I was talking about. Where you can like blend in and no one notices you. You want to do this option for sure. So there he is up there. So just keep your distance. Like I said, you don't want to fail. You've come so far. You've been playing this for Forever now, like this is a long quest. Uh, so if you fail right at the end, you're gonna chuck your 3DS or smash your 64 and uh, flip out, and then everyone will wonder what's wrong with you because you suck at games. So there he is, he's opening his hideout. Look at that, the little bold bastard has a hideout. So Cafe is gonna follow him in. He's hiding behind some rocks just to the left of that door, uh, which is where you can hide if you have that extra mask. And he'll run in there. There he is, little Cafe. Go, buddy, go! Now we're going to head in there, and uh, we're going to do a little puzzle thing. Another thing I should mention is you'll get the Keaton mask, the, you know, the mask that Cafe wears, from the Curiosity Shop guy uh, when he's back at Cafe's place and he gives you the letter. Ah! Look, there's a mask there. We love collecting masks. It's the sun's mask. The sun has a mask. It's a pretty cool looking mask. Kind of looks like a lion. Oh man, you've done it now. He's activated the uh, Sakon security system. Very elaborate system. Now I've done it. Like, this is a very specific little uh, mechanism. Like, it's well thought out by this guy. Step on that switch. What? Are you telling us what to do? I love that fairy. He's just so much sass. It's some setup where the door stays open only while the uh, switch is stepped on. So let's go step on that. Got our little bunny hood. Door opens. Now we're playing as Cafe. So we want to push these things. And uh, we got to, So Cafe is puzzle based with switches and stuff. Link's stuff is uh, battles. So there's the mask. It's going down that thing. Like, this is a very specific, elaborate security system. I don't. Why would someone have this? He's trying to pull it out of our reach and make his escape. So we want to push this across. And put it on that switch. Pretty obvious, right? Starts out simple. Now we're playing as Link. There's no good. This isn't the switch. Go check that room. There should be some sort of mechanism. Please, no time. There is no mechanism. There's a plant. And if we kill it, the next door will open. I don't like him. But is there a choice? Should we help him? Not moving in head in the face of danger when you know it's for the better. It's just like tail. That's it. Let's go. Nice pep talk, little fairy man. Let's boogie. So there's this dude. Kill him. Ta-da. 
Now this door opens. Mechanism my butt cafe, you don't know nothing. Don't step on the red ones. They're bad. So work your way over to the green one or the blue one and uh, it'll open up Link's door. Kill these dudes, easy, kablam. Now, like I said, don't step on the red ones. You don't want to speed that thing up. Now, we've got a little bit of a puzzle here. We can solve this pretty easy if you can successfully grab one of these. I struggle here. I can't grab that one. So I say, screw it. I won't go with that plan. It's a bad plan. We want to go for the one on the left and push that down. Ta-da! And we don't want to push that one right because it will go into a red box. And then we're in trouble. So we're going to pull this one out of the way. And we're going to run up here. Like, the red one's speeded up. So if you do that, you're screwed. You're going to stuff it up. Put it on the blue one. Link's time. Now we get to fight a wolf. Hey, -ah, come and get me, jerk. Kind of want to get spin attack going. So get some distance from him, unlike me. And then charge up your spin attack. And then hopefully he doesn't do that and disappear. Because that was really annoying. He'll come back. Let's just kill him. We got plenty of time. We're doing good. We got him. Don't step on the red, guys. Push this one down. Out of the way, you jerk box. And then head into this room. This is the last room. Step on the switch. Look at the time we're making. We're doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, bam. Mask teleports to the end. The hole covers up. And I got the sun's mask back. Yeah, you're welcome. You got it back. You did it all by yourself, man. There's still time. I must get back to town. Jump ahead to town. We're going back to the stockpot inn. We have six minutes remaining. We're going to head into this room. This is uh, Andrew's room. So if we head into here, we'll have a little chat with her. Hey girl, how you doing? I've decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. Then, with the minute 30 to spare, in comes our little buddy. And we get the final cutscene and our reward. So here we go. There's their wedding dress thing. There was a mask on it. She took it off. It's a freaky mask. They got some freaky things going on at this wedding. I, I have met you before. Yep. What a familiar scent. Long, long ago, yes. We were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? The mask of the sun and the moon. We were to exchange them on the day of the carnival of time. Andrew, I'm sorry I was late. Welcome home. Ah, how adorable. It's kind of weird that they're actually in a romantic relationship and he's a kid still. But we'll fix that. We'll take out Majora. Teehee. They're lovers, but they look just like a mother and child. Yeah, creepy, right? <laughs> Whatever, game. Let us exchange the promised masks. And now they are married. Ta-da! Some magic happens for some reason. And bum bum bum! Look at that. That is a funky mask. That's a pretty cool little, like, look like the ninja from G.I. Joe. We've exchanged our oaths and have become a couple. You are our witnesses. Please accept this mask. You got the couple's mask. It's filled with their love. Okay, cool. That's kind of weird, but cool. Please take refuge. We are fine here. We shall greet the morning together. And we will go kick Majora's butt. Or uh, do whatever else. Go back in time. Redo half the quest and get those other two masks, the Postman mask and uh, I can't remember what the other mask is. But you can get them if you. Oh no, you get a bottle! A bottle! So you get the Postman mask and a bottle if you deliver that letter. But there you go, we did the uh, Cafe and Andrew quest. Super long side quest, but it's done. Congratulations. You completed it all by yourself. Special move on these guys. So we'll push A and then we get this. How cool is that? So cool. That's a good crowd clearer. Now, if you don't um, have magic 